Hello everyone, this is ASMRF today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today we will learn a new technique of making mock-up. That means we know that um, those who are the involved in uh, graphic design or visualizing work, they know that um, uh, the mock-up is uh, too much um, necessary for our daily designing purpose. So uh, here is a stock image, I downloaded this photo from the unsplash.com and I'll give that download link in my video description so let's start how to make a mock-up and how to use the perspective actually uh, before we start my tutorial I want to say one thing please do subscribe my channel and share with your friend and hit the bell icon for the new video release notification okay uh, just uh, I'll go to the file and place immediate options and I'll just place this one actually I'll make it smaller like that and I want to uh, replace this one in this uh, photo so you can uh, use this one or you can make it the customized mockup so two way to make mockup uh, one is smart object options and uh, number two is vanishing point so smart object if you want to make the smart object you can use it in a future but uh, if you use the vanishing point then you can use it one time so at first we we'll learn how to make now the smart object so I'm deleting this one and at first I'll go to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like that okay and after that just right click and make it convert to smart object okay. after that just press ctrl T for the transform and just zoom it in and press the ctrl button and just match with the corner of the screen ok done and hit the tick button and after that uh, how to apply this one here is the smart object options and I am making this layer color red and giving the name replace ok and double click in a smart object it will open up a white window in this new layer and go to the file and place embedded option and i'll just place the wallpaper i downloaded this wallpaper from the uh, wallpaperwhite.com and i'll give you that download link as well and hit the tick button and press ctrl s that means you are saving this photo in this tab but it is saving in this portion so be careful when you are just uh, getting this one here is the red portion so you have to um, uh, be careful about that so press ctrl T and just adjust the sides and that means time and just set it up solve the problem okay now this one is good and if you want to need to change the background you can do that just uh, double press over there it will open up in a new window and replace go to the place embedded option suppose i just replacing this one again hit the tick button and press ctrl s and just see the changes okay this one is uh, the technique one and now i'll show you the new technique that is the vanishing point so vanishing point what is the vanishing point that means you can just get the same perspective in your window here is uh, some corners and it's um, uh, like a little bit curve uh, from the this is not 90 degree angle to form the vertical so uh, you need to adjust the perspective so uh, how to do that okay just uh, go to the file and place embedded options and select another i'm using this image and is hit the place button and making it smaller like small and hit the tick button and press control button and just when you are getting the uh, just square shape dotted square shape just press one click and press ctrl c ctrl c for copy i'm copying this one and turn off this one and press ctrl d for deselect that area and from the background layer just make a copy by uh, the background layer 
and go to the filter and vanishing point just yes this one is the vanishing point and here is a, a create panel tool and other things so here is the point you can zoom it in by pressing uh, ctrl and plus or command and plus and just get the corner proper corner of this screen like this zoom it in more and just place here okay uh, zoom it out you are getting full scenario or perspective here and now i'll replace that image here i just copied that one by pressing ctrl c and now i'll press the ctrl v v for um, paste you know that just drag it and just bring it in a middle side or the inside of that area yes in outside you are getting the, the perspective any outside inside you are getting the perspective okay then press ctrl t and you can adjust the skin size but uh, you should adjust this one and hit the ok button okay you can make mock-up your mock-up uh, like that it will be more uh, perfect uh, in a perspective so now uh, you can use the technique one and you can use technique two it's up to you totally thank you so much thanks for watching my video detail if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and share with your friend until the next video i am asmarip signing out and bye bye